Hello students today we are going to study the reverse characteristic of xenodiode this is the circuit diagram which we are going to implement on the breadboard so first of all what is xenodiode xenodiodes are semiconductor devices that allow current to flow in both directions but specialize in current flowing in reverse xenodiode functions like an ordinary pn junction diode in forward direction Hence, the forward characteristic is the same for both PN junction diode and zener diode. This is the circuit diagram. So we need zero to thirty volt DC power supply, a one kilo ohm resistor, a milliammeter, a zener diode, and multimeter in order to read the output. The components that we need are these all. We need a DC power supply, a one kilo ohm resistor. Which which will be having color code as brown, black, and red. Then we need a milliammeter, which will ha be having a reading from zero to fifty milliampere, and a zener diode. So, in zener diode, the black color ring denotes the negative terminal of the zener diode, and then we need a multimeter in order to read the output voltage. This is the DC power supply that we are going to use. The positive terminal of our DC supply is connected to one of the terminal of our resistor, and the other terminal of resistor is connected with the positive terminal of our milliammeter, and the negative terminal of the milliammeter is connected with the negative terminal of our zener diode because we are going to read the reverse characteristic of our zener diode, and the positive terminal of zener diode is connected to the negative terminal of our dc power supply and this multimeter is connected across zener diode in order to read the output voltage so the expectation from this practical is a zener diode is constructed for operation in the reverse breakdown region after reaching a certain voltage called the breakdown voltage the current increases widely even for a small change in voltage however there is no appreciable change in voltage So when we plot the graph, we should get a curve near, very near to x-axis and almost parallel to it for quite some time. After the zener potential, there will be a sudden change and the graph will become exponential. So let's take the readings. I am starting my power supply. Now I am increasing my input voltage to one volt. There is no deflection in my milliammeter. and my multimeter is showing the same input voltage which is given from power supply as output voltage now at 5.4 volts still there is no deflection in my milliammeter at 8 volts my millimeter is showing no deflection and my mul multimeter is having the same input voltage which i am giving from dc power supply again at 9 volt there is no deflection in my milliammeter so i will increase my dc power supply to 10 volts by increasing it to 10 volts a minor deflection is shown in my milliammeter which can be read as 0.1 milliamp and my output voltage in multimeter is 9.96 at 11 volts as input voltage 0.5 milliampere is shown as deflection in my emitter and the voltage across the zener diode that is shown in multimeter is 10.47 volts Now I am increasing my input voltage to 15 volts, and as you can see, my milliammeter is showing deflection around 4 milliampere. And here you can see that multimeter is st uh, at 10.88 volts, which is which can be observed that milliammeter has stopped increasing with respect to the input voltage. Now I am increasing my input voltage to 20 volts. The millime milliammeter is showing 9.5 milliamp deflection, and 
the multimeter is showing 11.02 as zener output this is how we need to write the observation that we took from the circuit this is the input voltage the current through the millimeter and the output voltage across the diode so as you can see at 10 volts i can have the millimeter millimeter has shown some deflection which has started from 10 volt as my input voltage so this 10 volt is considered as the breakdown voltage of our zener this is we are going to plot in as in the graph as current and voltage this is the vi characteristic of zener diode which we need to draw so this graph is drawn taking the reverse bias voltage across negative x axis and the reverse bias current across negative y axis in the reverse bias zener breakdown occurs at a particular voltage called the zener voltage that is vz and in our case it is 10 volts and a large amount of current flows through the diode which is the characteristic of a zener diode as the reverse voltage increases at a certain value of reverse voltage, the reverse current increases drastically and sharply. So this is what we can conclude from this practic practical.